Okay. We're here to mobilize uh, again into the tarsus bones of the foot. We're going to work today at the navicular cuneiform. Navicular cuneiform. So in this position, what I'm doing is having the patient seated, hips at about 90 degrees, knees about 90, and we're looking for the ankle to be about neutral. Okay. So I, I will adjust my table so that it's accordingly so I can get into that position. From here, I'm on the lateral side of the foot that I'm working on. My proximal hand is going to palpate. I'm going to come off of talus and find the navicular bone. Work my way down off of the talus. As I find that navicular bone, I'm going to come on to that position, and here's the cuneiform. He's right next to it. So I'm going to wrap my index finger around navicular right around the navicular so I can stabilize that. And again, the web space of my hand stabilizes this whole area. I get very close into this position, real tight, so I'm on the cuneiform bones. As I stabilize with my proximal hand onto uh, the navicular, I'm going to do a distracting force with a volar or plantar glide of the cuneiforms. All three cuneiforms are coming together. Do a distracting force in a dorsal glide with all three cuneiforms. This is the navicular cuneiform joint mobilization.